Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our beloved uh, Against the Hive campaign. Where I'm trying to not get my teeth kicked in too much against uh, the chrysalids. It has been a bit of a problem lately, I must admit. Not very good, it is not looking very good. But uh, we want to level our uh, A team. And hence, I have a couple of the A-team colleagues with us, Taurus and Zukuger with top equipment. Uh, we do have uh, Fitzgerald R Roro with a grenade that will at least let these two escape, if need be. We got the DM with us and we filled up the ranks uh, with Doom, who had been drafted lately, and uh, Sam Synapse. We're fighting against uh, 33 enemies and many of them are not fun to deal with we do have a fair amount of mechanical enemies which explains the blue screen rounds but other than that my biggest uh, problem is just shredding uh, through the massive amount of armor that we're going to see so hopefully zukuger can do a good job in doing that and hopefully we do have enough turns to actually go through it uh, if all else fails uh, we need to make a run for the evac zone but let's hope that I can actually win this mission we're still on the edge of uh, maybe being able to win those missions good we landed and what's the good word oh well we are starting without concealment well, Sam is the only one who does have concealment. So the idea would be, let's carefully advance. And make sure that we're not triggering anything. Not immediately though. Stick together because we do have a ghost grenade if all things fail. And take it a bit slower because this could be a very, very dangerous mission. Alright, and Noticing a lot of alien movement. Game definitely slows noticeably down. Go, go, go. Sam moves up. We've got an enemy squad here. What? Three squads? Holy. Moves up. Um, we are aggressively pushing forward with Roro. And this should open up quite a bit. Plus allow us to hit both of them. Very well. Starting to chop down on uh, the Elite Lancer. All 
Alright, so advanced training. We want more damage on that Lancer. At the same time... Let's get that purifier. Okay, decent amount. Of damage, decent amount. Um... That's unfortunately minimum damage. Um. Let's do this. Moves up. Uh, ask you a question never fails to impress with that getting the skirmisher down but also triggering a pack right okay yeah well shoot Can't mimic beacon from that far. But we most certainly can at least suppress three of these guys. Half cover here. gun unfortunately doesn't improve uh, the uh, range good a protocol for the front line the DM kind of needs to survive. I was hoping this guy would shoot first into Untouchable. Not sure how he can cast because he should be uh, disoriented. It's a bit weird. I was expecting that he wouldn't be able to cast. Thank you. 
All right, moves up. And we're mimic beaconing. Good, decent position of the mimic beacon. Reloads. Let's get this guy down. We have nothing to fear. The mech could have been a problem if left unchecked. Good hit, unfortunately not enough to get it down. Car explosion should deal a lot of extra damage. Might even remove all of the stupid shields. Did not destroy the elite purifier though. Good, let's see how long the Mimic Beacon will last. Exactly two shots, I think the DM is dead. Priest tries to mind control, which is an interesting choice. Might have saved his life with that. Me. Yeah, micro missiles. Or not. Wow. You want some more? I'm trusting you here. Emergency eight. Real life. Into adrenaline rush. Heal. Let's get that sharpshooter down. Not sure why that was even triggering. I was not in range. I 
Take away the mind control. Can't charge in any further. Take the sharpshooter out. Here is a decent one-on-one -on -one, uh, situation. Gets him far enough away. Still can flank. Shields are removed, and Taurus is overwatching. Anchor down. Purifier is a problem. This here will deal some more damage to the shield bearers. This is for you. Uses our last grenade, but we're not up uh, to fight the entirety of the enemies. Might as well use our our options right now. Alright, and let's then suppress the purifier. Flashbang? No! Actual grenade! Luckily we have blast paddings. That guy is set up for a kill. And we're following through. Good. Kill. Okay, I'll go. Taurus moves up.
Death moves up. to strike this guy okay might be a kill cover the one healing next turn he's potentially going to flee Keep the pressure on. okay cool seven turns the only topics that we now need to worry about is how can we get out of this hell hole alive First and foremost, heal. No problem, boss. Have troops spotted. We don't want to trigger anything. Which means we're going to be super, super careful not to do that. Protocol for everyone. Overwatch, Overwatch, and a fresh reload. Overwatch. Luckily, we missed. Ah, that was not so good. We don't want uh, to trigger the Andromedon. As always, our Overwatch completely sucked. This, by the way, doesn't matter anymore because we are anyways on our way out of here. Spectre Prime. And there is even another pack. I fought my way through two packs and I think I've did reasonably well with the tools that we've been given. But this here will just nail us down. It's not happening. Good. The 
core ingredients of a successful escape is we are rushing to here. And then I want to know rapid deployment. Post grenade doesn't count for rapid deployment. That sucks a bit, but okay. So we can move all the way up to here. Whatever you say. Like I said, it doesn't matter that we're triggering these fools now. As long as no one is blocking our way out, we should be fine. Okay, I need to focus to really make sure this is not going to go wrong. That worked well. Oh, there is even another pack. Okay, cool. Well, like I said, it doesn't really matter. You can't be more dead than that. Okay, we got one turn to actually turn this one around and just run out of here. Afterwards, this is going to become really, 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 really bad. Ghost grenades absolutely for the win. Wouldn't have been able to fight my way through this, but ghost grenades might be the answer to at least the VIP missions. Should get a second one. Yeah, potentially we're just getting a second one. Gives all soldiers outside the evac zone a friendly reminder to get to the chopper now. Grants extra mobility for one turn. Okay. Get it covered. Get to the chopper. The DM moves up. I'm not sure if these guys have individual concealment or group concealment, so I don't just want to start attacking.
The interesting part is, can we get you out? Ooh, yeah. Get to the get chopper, the made the trick. Okay, Beth is um, being taken out and evac all. Can't believe that that has worked. I, I literally can't believe that that has worked. But we've found our way. Somehow, somewhere, over the rainbow, we found our way. Gosh damn it. Boy, we made it. I'm actually impressed. I wasn't giving that a high chance. Unfortunately, uh, we now got the fear of the chosen. Great. Or not so great. Well, listen, at least we got some into what can I say? Could have been worse. We somehow clutched our way through it. Good. She's trying to sabotage, which sucks. That would not be too bad. That would not be too bad. Well, that would actually be bad. I don't like the capture on the missions. But mm, this only happens when the Chosen are alive, so that actually would not be too bad. This hidden event might be the real uh, pain. Um, I'm wondering if we want to get that. When a squad mate dies, um, you gain a bonus for two turns because that is going to happen soon very soon I think we're going to put that in Connect, uh, contact, yes, please. And we could get, we could get technical analysis right now. I think that would not be too bad. I actually think that it would be worth it. 160. Oh no, we need to. Okay, well, I can build uh, one over here. But I need money first, which means give me that. And just in case you wonder if we've just wasted intel, not really because uh, these towers get more and more expensive. By building one here, we've actually uh, made contact to two regions. Um, volunteering army might be helpful. Resistance soldier joins us is not too bad. That is not bad. I, I think we should go for it. Maximum power consumption reached. Well, what can we really build? Defense matrix. Oh yeah, we definitely could build that. So putting you here. And resistance comms could be helpful as well, but we're going with defense metrics first. You never know when the stupid U of always shooting you down. So let's build that and be happy. We made it out alive out of that last mission. I'm actually really, really proud that that worked. Uh, pl plus the get to the chopper thing actually made it absolutely fun to you um, to use both of the abilities together all right promote soldier
I like lightweight optics. Just too good to not take that. And I like uh, high firing angle. Okay, got another sniper ready. Let's continue. Yes, please. Improve bow pups. Yeah, Psonics inspired. Game is teasing me. I think we're going for Andromedon Autopsy because I think this will improve all of our vests by one hit point. If I'm not mistaken. Hogbite is back in action, which tells me we want a training center. Oh, she's still lightly wounded. Okay, once Namri is back, we can upgrade the bond finally. So let's install radio uh, the radio relay because I really want uh, tactical analysis. It is potentially the best continent bonus that exists, second to none, just incredibly strong and could help us. What? What? Okay. Okay, well, Saigon, don't be annoyed about uh, the amount of stupid VIP missions that you're getting. Maybe the game realizes that the missions are actually too hard and it throws you a bone um, by trying to convince you to just use ghost grenades more often to get the living F out of there. Just an idea. But yeah, that is um, what's going to happen the next time. That is going to happen the next time. Um, yeah. Soon the stronghold is also be uh, uh, can be found, and I want to improve the bond. That is important to me. Okay, well, I guess it is what it is. We're going in again, this time for a scientist. We have a lack of scientists. A sevens uh, one wouldn't be too bad. Doesn't help us with breakthroughs, but uh, helps us definitely with uh, the shadow chamber research. Uh, for now, before we're going for further shadow chamber uh, research, I'm still trying to get a couple of breakthroughs. And one way of uh, going about it is yeah, to, to simply continue researching everything. I wonder why the game hasn't been offering us um, ballistic weapon breakthrough, because typically it gives you that in, I would say, mid of the year when you are not at uh, magnetic weapons. There is a pretty high chance that you can uh, get it. It's a way of kind of catching up. Um, now, in our case, I'm completely puzzle but that hasn't happened yet definitely what has happened since the laboratory is there is we had more uh, breakthroughs so far we only had um, the bulb up uh, breakthrough and the templar auto pistol the worst uh, breakthroughs that you could imagine like completely and utterly um, redundant um, and to be fair, we had a breakthrough for assault rifles, so that was good. And even a second breakthrough for assault rifles for an extra mod slot. So assault rifles are going very well in this run, but uh, the big breakthrough, the uh, the ballistic weapons hasn't happened. So that's a problem. Um, and you can see I'm running against a wall of enemies that is just not just not uh, killable anymore with just normal damage um, might need to get more zappers in so that we have more grenades maybe I run the next mission with two zappers uh, so that we can that we can go grenade uh, ghost grenade into ghost grenade and we also have enough um, cover removal 
that might not be a bad idea because the plasma uh, grenades currently are the one of the few things that are carrying um, uh, this run just overall cover removal and damage is very very strong but they are ultra limited and and we don't have the necessary uh, grenade slots yet um, we we would need um, upgraded armor to get an extra slot but yeah that's not happening in this run either essentially we've traded uh, the extra slot for a guaranteed slot for vests and that's okay it fits the theme um, but yeah overall tough luck maybe the next mission with uh, dual ghost grenade will be successful I apologize for needing to resort to these uh, extreme measures but you know um, how I am I just can't stand losing against the aliens so we are going to try whatever it takes short of cheating of course um yeah thanks for watching guys have a good one and uh, see you soon bye bye